There are a ton of incredible movies hitting our big screens this year, from Birds of Prey, No Time to Die, Top Gun Maverick to Wonder Woman 1984. It's going to be a huge year for cinema, but also the horror genre, which has some incredible titles lined up for 2020. So today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 scariest movies coming out in 2020. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. There is little information about love these movies so this may be very short. <laughs> Coming in at 10, Candyman, June 12th. Candyman is an upcoming horror film directed by Nia DaCosta, written by Jordan Peele and Wynne Roosevelt, and will be a direct sequel to the original 1992 film and stars Tony Todd as the title character. For those unfamiliar with the story, the film follows a hook handed boogeyman who spits out swarms of bees while haunting a housing project in Chicago. Universal Pictures has scheduled Candyman for a release on June 12th of this year. Other than that, there's no new information. Coming in at number 9, Underwater, January 10th. Underwater is a 2020 science fiction horror film directed by William Eubank and starring Kristen Stewart, Vincent Castle, and TJ Miller. It follows a group of scientists at the bottom of the ocean who encounter a group of creatures after an earthquake destroys their laboratory. Underwater is scheduled to be released in the United States on January 10th, 2020, by 20th Century Fox. Coming in at 8, Halloween Kills, October 16th. Halloween Kills is an upcoming slasher film directed by David Gordon Green and written by Green, Danny McBride and Scott Teams. It is a sequel to 2018's Halloween and the 12th installment in the Halloween franchise. The film stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Nick Castle, both reprising their roles as Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. There is currently no plot released for the movie, but it is scheduled to be released in the United States on October 16th of this year by Universal Pictures. Not to mention, a sequel, Halloween Ends, is scheduled to be released on October 15th, 2021. They be dreaming and big. Coming in at number 7, The Turning, January 24th. The Turning is an upcoming supernatural horror directed by Floria Sigismondi and is a modern adaptation of the 1898 ghost story The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. According to Universal Pictures, the synopsis goes as follows. For more than 100 years, a deeply haunting tale has been passed down to terrify audiences. Next January, DreamWork Pictures The Turning takes us to a mysterious estate in the main countryside, where newly appointed nanny, Kate, is charged with the care of two disturbed orphans, Flora and Miles. Quickly though, she discovers that both the children and the house are harboring dark secrets and things may not be as they appear. The film was originally intended to hit our screens last year, but it is currently set to be released on January 24th of this year. Coming in at number 6, Army of the Dead, TBA. Army of the Dead is an upcoming horror directed by Zack Snyder, based on a story by Snyder himself. The film stars Dave Bautista, Ellen Pennell, Anna Della Regara, and Chris D'Elia. The plot centers on a group of mercenaries who plot a heist on a Las Vegas casino during a zombie outbreak. The film was initially planned to be a sequel to the 2004 Dawn of the Dead, however, in January of last year it was announced that Netflix had acquired the rights to the project. As of right now, the movie has no release date, but is expected to hit Netflix sometime this year. I hope anyway. Coming in at number 5, Saw, May 15th. Also known as The Organ Donor, this is an upcoming horror film that will serve as the ninth installment in the Saw franchise. Directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman and written by Chris Rock, the film stars Chris Rock, Samuel L. Jackson, Max Mihala, and Marisol Nichols. Although originally thought to be a reboot, Rock has confirmed that it will share a continuity with the other movies. As of right now, there is no plot, but it is set to be released on May 15th, which is incredibly impressive considering we have heard absolutely nothing about this movie, other than Samuel L. Jackson is in a Saw movie, and Chris Rock wrote it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Coming in at 4, The Grudge, January 3rd. At the time of this recording, The Grudge just hit our big screens and definitely deserves a spot on our list. There's a 2020 horror film and a reboot of the 2004 remake and the Japanese horror film, Juan The Grudge. The plot concerns a detective who investigates a murder scene that has a connection to a case that her new partner handled in the past. The killings occurred in a haunted house that passes on a ghostly curse to those who dare enter it. Soon the curse spread to a terminally ill woman and her husband and another unsuspecting couple who were in the wrong place at the wrong time. As of right now, the movie hasn't received the best reviews, but that hasn't deterred longtime fans of the original story, and it won't deter me. I love The Grudge, particularly the Sarah Michelle Gellar ones. They're so bad, they're good. Coming in at 3, Last Night in Soho, September 25th. 
Last Night in Soho is a psychological horror directed by Edgar Wright and stars Thomas and Mackenzie, Anya Taylor Joy, Matt Smith, and Diana Rigg. According to Empire, the film is set in London in the 1960s and will be led by Eloise, played by Thomas and Mackenzie. She's entirely consumed by the decade and is given the opportunity to soak it up for herself through some unusual relationship with Sandy, played by Taylor Joy. In regards to the project and its characters, director Edgar Wright stated, There's something I have in common with the lead character in that I'm afflicted with nostalgia for a decade I didn't live in. You think about 60s London, what would that be like? And the reality of the decade is maybe not what she imagines. It has an element of be careful what you wish for. The movie has no released footage and nearly zero plot reveal aside from what I just mentioned, however, it is set to be released on September 25th of this year and I for one can hardly wait. It's also Edgar Wright's first full on horror movie. Big things, big moves. Coming in at 2, The Conjuring 3, September 11th. The Conjuring 3, also known as The Conjuring The Devil Made Me Do It, is a supernatural horror film directed by Michael Chavez and is the third installment in The Conjuring franchise, but the eighth installment in The Conjuring universe as a whole. The movie once again stars Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson as paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. According to Warner Bros Pictures and New Line Cinema, the synopsis goes as follows. The Devil Made Me Do It reveals a chilling story of terror, murder, and unknown evil that shocked even experienced real life paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. One of the most sensational cases from their files, it starts with a fight for the soul of a young boy, then takes them beyond anything they'd ever seen before to mark the first time in US history that a murder suspect would claim demonic possession as defense. As of right now, there has been no released footage for the third movie, but it is set to be released on September 11th of this year. And finally, coming in at number one, A Quiet Place Part 2, March 20th. A Quiet Place Part 2 is an upcoming horror movie and a direct sequel to A Quiet Place, which was released back in 2018. The sequel is once again directed by John Krasinski and stars Emily Blunt, Millicent Simmons, and Noah Jupe. According to Paramount Pictures, the synopsis goes as follows. Following the deadly events at home, the Abbott family must now face the terrors of the outside world as they continue their fight for survival in silence. Forced to venture into the unknown, they quickly realize that the creatures that hunt by sounds are not the only threats that lurk beyond the sand path. So spooky. Director John Krasinski has previously teased that the sequel won't just focus on the Abbott family and that this movie will be a widening of the world. However, what we do know is that Peaky Blinders star Cillian Murphy is joining the fold, however, his role is currently being kept under wraps. He did, however, say that he is playing a man with mysterious intentions who joins the family unit. I, for one, cannot wait, but I'm still not over Krasinski's departure in the first one. That scene keeps me up at night. F me up. So sad. It's the one time I've cried in my whole life. Well, there we have it. You guys agree with that list? Which horror movies are you most looking forward to seeing this year? Mine is probably A Quiet Place Part 2, The Conjuring, and Last Night in Soho. Essentially, the top three that I listed. Lol. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 10 biggest celebrities who are broke. Aditya Rex said, I really like Brendan Fraser. Would love to see him back as the main character in The Mummy. I really liked him too back in the day, but... You grow up and you realize things. Not everyone's a good actor, but I wish him the best. Duan Man said, All smiles from Lucy, either something is terribly wrong or someone got awesome gifts this holiday season. I honestly don't remember smiling in that video. Or maybe I was just reveling in everyone else's misfortune. I can't tell. I didn't smile today, so you're welcome. Visa1225 said, Merry birthmas to me. Thanks for the gift of pop culture knowledge, Lucy. Well, you're welcome. Happy belated birthday. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen bit. And until next time, see you later.